On the morning of April 10th in 2001, police and fire units responded to reports of an explosion at the Fisher residence in Scottsdale, Arizona. Inside the rubble, the bodies of 38-year-old Mary Fisher, 12-year-old Brittany and 10-year-old Bobby Jr. were found. Authorities quickly determined that the mother and children did not die in the fire, but that they had been murdered in their beds the night before. Mary was shot in the back of the head and her throat had been sliced. The children's necks were also slashed. Arson investigators said that the house was rigged to blow because a lit candle was left in the home and the gas furnace had been disconnected. As the main suspect, police named husband and father Robert Fisher. Cops believe that when Mary Fisher confronted her husband about ending their marriage, Fisher decided to avoid a messy divorce by killing his family. Fisher fled soon after the murders, taking his wife's SUV and the family dog, a Queensland healer named Blue. The SUV and the dog were both found abandoned at the Tonto National Forest. Robert William Fisher is wanted for allegedly killing his wife and two children. Fisher is six foot tall, weighs 190 pounds, has blue eyes, brown hair, and he may work as a surgical catheter technician, respiratory therapist, or fireman. Fisher is physically fit and is an avid outdoorsman, fisherman and hunter. Robert Fisher is seen here smearing the blood of an animal on himself. Fisher has a noticeable gold crown on his upper left first bicuspic tooth. He may walk with an exaggerated erect posture and his chest pushed out due to a lower back injury. He has surgical scars on his lower back. The FBI released this composite photo of one of the top 10 fugitives, Robert Fisher, pictured here with a beard. Here's a composite photo with a shaved head. Fisher is also known to chew tobacco heavily. He has ties to New Mexico and Florida. Fisher is believed to be in possession of several weapons, including a high-powered rifle. There is a reward of up to $100,000 for information leading to the arrest of Robert William Fisher. I was hunting a monster, Robert Fisher, a born-again Christian who police say slaughtered his wife and young children. Uh, okay, what's on fire? The whole house. The whole house? The whole house is burning up. Police say not only did Fisher kill his family, he set the house on fire to cover up his crime. You can stand there and see what happened that night just by walking around that slab. Here's where the fugitive investigation begins when this guy left. Fisher fled that night after the murders, taking the family dog and Mary's SUV. Only his image was left behind on this ATM footage. Mary's SUV and Bobby's dog Blue were found abandoned 100 miles away.